going on YouTube? It's your boy, I'm back with another banger for you guys. I have some weekend league gameplay for you guys. This weekend, I could have went 25 and no, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Like, I say it sometime, but I don't be meaning it, but I really mean it this time. I lost to somebody that took a five-yard slant to the house with five seconds left in the game because I blitzed everybody. That's why I thought I was being dumb. I should have just played back. I really should have played three-man deep, but I didn't want to waste the time out. But if you new enjoy the content, don't forget to take a second, hit that like subscribe button. Don't forget to tap on that button so you can notify when I upload a new video. Now, let's get into this gameplay right here. The first gameplay is against Bald Rock. As you can see, the game's already started. He's in near close. He likes to run, dive up the middle all game. So I'm in right here. I'm experimenting with the nickel 335 because I know how to run pinch buck O against it, but this nickel 335, it's like it's easier to guard corner routes because you have the safeties down the middle. You can alternate which side they play. So I could put L1 in that curl flat to the right. But see, I'm just going to put square right there. I, I like how this, like, I like how everybody's placed in this. That's why it's kind of good for the run because the safeties can come down and support. So I'm testing it out right here. He should have guarded that. I don't know why Desmond Trufant didn't guard that. Because I had him to cover that out route. But as you can see right there, I was like, all right. We tested it. It didn't work. We got to come back out in 3-4 odd and see if we can stop it. We stopped the dive the first time. And we stopped. We tried to stop it there. But he did get the first down right there. He has Michael Vick in the pocket. So he has the hot rod master. And he's fast to the left side. So... As I said, he likes to run it up the middle, so he's gonna he's gonna run dive a lot. Like he's gonna ride run dive a lot this game. It's ridiculous. But every time he comes onto the field, he always takes a long time to edit. I don't know why. He always takes like seven seconds to call his play. Even not even seven, like 10, 15 to call his play. And he always takes it down. I don't know if that gets his energy up. I don't know what he's doing. But as you can see right there, Tory Holt gets the gets to the outside on Jalen Ramsey because in this game you can't play them. You can't play those routes. You just can't play those routes. I don't know why. That's one thing they gotta fix for Madden 21 though. Like the corner route, the like the rollout. I understand them coming down on some rollouts if there's like a drag underneath, but like let's be honest. Come on, like come on, they they can play that. But as you can see right here, we have Shazier in the purple. I think that's Shazier, that it is Shazier. We have him in the purple right there. I was on Gronk, but I went to the dig route thinking he was gonna throw the dig. And we hit him with Night Train, but he just doesn't give it up right there. As you can see, it's second and one. He took four minutes, or no, not four minutes, three minutes already off the clock. Three minutes off the clock. I'm pretty sure he had it for the rest of the quarter. As you can see right here, it's 40 seconds left. This right here should be an easy stop, but as you can see, I took the wrong call with Taylor May. That's just my fault. And he basically took the whole first quarter and he just now scored. As you can see right here, I'm going to try to get Randy Moss. Like, I'm going to try to use Randy Moss regardless. I do have Calvin Johnson as backup and triangle. As you can see, he had the double team. It just was great positioning. Mike Evans was behind Randy Moss. Chan Bailey was over top. So that's usually when I throw a lot of picks. So I don't honestly force it like that. But as you can see right here, he's in. It looks like Big Nickel right here. He has 3D line cam. Right here, we get triangle wide open. I kind of rushed the throw. And he wasn't even open. He could have caught a pick. And I kind of rushed the throw because I seen dude coming off the backside of my out of the pocket. So I just rushed the throw. Right here, I'm just going to try to run this in right there. Motion Kittle inside. We kind of got lucky with that. And we got the first down. Got enough yards to get the first down. We moved down the field in like 40 seconds. And it took him three minutes and like 20 to move down the field. That's how I knew. I was like, all right, if we get one stop on this dude, we're going to win. Like, if I get one stop, we won this game. Right here, you see I'm trying to be smart, audible, try to switch the formation with my run. Right there, he got me right there. I should have just ran past him. I didn't know he was going to strafe up like that. If he would, if I just ran past him, he would have been looking stupid. But as you can see, I don't like getting stopped when I run. So, I, no huddle, ran the ball again. This time, we get into the end zone. Jalen Ramsey can't catch you that time. And we're back on the defensive side of the ball. So as you can see right here, I'm like, all right, we're going to get in pitch buckle and I'm going to try to stop it. Because that's how I stop near close flex. Y'all know near close and near close flex are a different thing. Or it's near flex close. So I, I always forget. Y'all already know how it is. But this stops it. Like, this stops it. This blows it up. So I'm like, all right, right here, 
we're gonna try to stop it with this pitch bucket the whole time. Right now, I'm just experimenting. I don't know what to what how to stop it. Like, cause I did different people play differently, right? And I played somebody that was in this formation before, and they just literally bagged me. Like, not bagged me. They didn't bag me because I don't run the formation. Like, I literally he was dotting me. Not bad. I, he was dotting me up in this formation. Like, rollout, all that. I didn't know what to do. As you can see right here, that's kind of the weakness of pinch but go. If, they, if the Duke doesn't get off the shed, like the contain, if he doesn't get off, Michael Vick is gone. Like, he's out of the pocket, and he has so much time to do whatever he wants. He could even scramble for, like, 10 yards if he wanted to. So that's kind of a weakness of this. But as you can see right here, he's taking forever to do his audibles once again. But we do get out, and he easy 10 yards. Like I said, the contain didn't come off, so literally had no backup. You can see I'm back in nickel 3 3 5. Why? As I said, I was experimenting. I didn't know what to do. He's still getting yards. Like, he's just gaining yards over and over again. Still gaining yards. I just have no answer for it. Right here, we do hit him once, and he's going to come back and run the ball again. That was his mistake. Instead of, like doing something else he comes out and runs the ball again we get the big hit Lawrence Taylor picks up the ball and I know that's the stop we needed so right here I'm like all right he wants to run we gonna see if he got run defense I know I was running the ball earlier but we gonna see if he actually has run defense so right here we motion we get the first block again I could have he straight up with Jalen Ramsey I should have ran straight past him I messed up again as you can see I'm calling my original play getting triangle right here never mind he swats the ball down thought I had a triangle he swats the ball down and I'm like all right we we got it we got to move the ball we got to get the first down I didn't get that big stop for me not to get the first down right here he messes up his safety right there and as you can see I was gonna go and stop and go to the inside but Jalen Ramsey's already tired and Julio Jones just has all the speed in the world and we're up 14-7 on this dude so he, he's finally switched it up he finally switched it up He's in I form slot, I believe. As you can see, I didn't get that was we got hooked onto the center. We shouldn't have got hooked. That was just terrible. They I was literally trying to run away from him and I got hooked onto the center. But as you see, he's still in it. He gets the easy out route because I was I was switching my play over. He only has 30 seconds left, so I don't know what he's getting out of throwing five yard outs. But hey, that's how he wants to run his offense. He can run it however he wants. Michael Vick in the pocket, he's trying to make something creative again. As you can see, he rolls out to the right. This was a bad pass by him. Could have got a pick, but Calvin Johnson swatted it. He, gonna, he used his height. I like that. Even though I could have got a pick, he used his height. He swatted out of bounds, and I like that. That's why I got him instead of Troy Polamalu. As you can see right there, he, he should have passed it. He should have passed to 87, but he takes the run. Doesn't go anywhere, and he's back in eye form close. I know he wants to do some type of glitch play, something. He has something cooked up. He wants to get downfield. And I know I, all I need is a pick right here. Easy. That's why I was in cover six trap. That's why I was in cover six trap. Right here, I, I have six seconds left. I'm honestly just thinking of just throwing it into coverage, trying to get to like the 40. Yeah, I put the streak out, trying to get to the 40, but Jalen Ramsey kind of played both. So I just took that. We got the good animation, pushed us up like two yards, and we kicked the easy field goal up 17-7, and we got the ball at half. So right here, still, I'm, I'm still, I'm not too comfortable passing the ball, honestly, because I don't run it like this. I'm not too comfortable passing the ball, but... Trying to melt some clock off because I just hate the offense he's in. Like, anything can happen in that offense. He could stop you, and then you could just be dual. So, right there, easy dot, but it didn't count. We went to second and ten. We did move the ball again. No, we went to third and ten right here. I'm tripping. We did move the ball first down with the run. So, I'm like, all right, we just going to go back to the play that cooked him the first time. We got him again. He tried to swat, and we are in for six. 24-7, I know it's wrapped right now. And as you can see, I never show y'all kickoff. So what y'all think happened? What y'all think happened on this kickoff? I kick it toward the right. He takes it with Devin Hester. Devin Hester, like 150 pounds. Taylor Mays is coming for you. Taylor Mays is coming for you. Take off for Quay. Quay's in a touchdown. 24-7 already. I think it's like 30-something. 30, 30 
37 to 7. Can I see it? Yeah, 30 to 7 when he quits. 221 passing yards. And we are 12 and 12 and 1 with 12 games left. I did lose a game to dude. He was literally he he was trash. I ain't even gonna lie. He was trash. But he beat me though. Five seconds left, he took a slant to the house. He was trash, but he did beat me. So I gotta give him the credit, cause that was my fault. I should've I was getting too cocky. If I play three man deep, like I stop him and he doesn't win that game. But I was getting too cocky, so I think I blitzed like nine. Calvin Johnson off the end. He couldn't catch him. I had it was just me and him in the back, and he scored. But as you see, we're on the second game. Not gonna try to say his name. It's like King Lee seven e. So I, I don't even know. It's kind of small on my screen. But I peeped that he had Randy Moss in his top three. So I knew he was going to come out. Try to press circle. Try to pick that off. He spins. He could have took that for like, I don't know. He could have had a lot of yards on that. He could have had a large on that. But this guy, he's not too bad. I can't even lie. He's honestly pretty smart with his bunch. You know, Hot Rod Master, you can make up stuff with your bunch. So he's pretty smart. Right here, he gets me right there. Die. This a die. I can't even lie. Right there, I'm just like, die, like, like, dot me then. Because he, that was a dot. Can't even hate on that. Like, I know I'm on the opposite side, but that that was a dot. He outsmarted me. He already know the cover six trap is coming. So, he's back in bunch. Julio Jones moved him across. I already know he wants him on the cross again. I got both crosses covered and easy incompletion. We forced the incompletion. He coming back out in a bunch, and this is when I knew that it was going to be a rough game. If you audible to this, as you know, you can just throw two post routes at each other. And I don't know why it works like this, but you put a streak on the other side, and it just plays through. Watch this. Like, why is Jalen Ramsey following that streak? Jalen Ramsey has no reason to follow that streak right there. But as you can see, he dotted me. He dotted me right there. He's at the one-yard line now. He was he was game hitting. I ain't even gonna lie, he was game hitting. I don't I ain't never seen nobody do this. I never seen nobody do this, but hey. He got into the touchdown, he got me. Good touchdown by him. But as you see, I got Randy Moss on my own. And y'all already know if it if, if it ain't going to Randy Moss, it's a distraction. He ran commit and my dude got stuck. Like I didn't even know what to do. I just pressed circle. My dude got stuck. We pressed circle and luckily we got out of it. And we got a touchdown right off the gate. So now he has to come back and try to score. Like he, after all that, he has to come back and try to score. He's back in his bunch. He's flipping the side. Trying to be like Clef the guy a little bit. Y'all know Clef only comes. Clef comes out on the short side and then flips to the strong side. But as you see right there, he puts his running back on a route. Gets one yard. And we need, and he does, he does pick up the, he picks up the first down as you can see. We're in one four six and he's quick snapping me. So I'm like, all right. He's literally quick snapping me. He tries to do the crossbody with the playmaker. He throws a pick. I know we gotta take advantage. Just like the last game. We gotta take advantage of this pick because I wouldn't necessarily say these dudes be good. These abilities just I don't know. The abilities like playmaker, they just be on your side. Right there, we get the easy rollout. Get it get five yards on the rollout with Josh Allen We're back in our gun type just pick fixing our block because I don't fix the blocks like that The corners just gonna scream at me right here I saw I knew that he had Jalen Ramsey in like an outside quarter So Jalen Ramsey he's just gonna go back. He doesn't even guard that route. It's just to make it seem like he's guarding it But he's not actually guarding the route and I know the corners are gonna be available. So right here. I'm like all right Put square on an in route well, a dig route, and I couldn't even throw it. Like, that would have been the perfect play. I would have got so many yards on that play. Couldn't even throw it, and he had he got the ball back. As you can see, he's dotted me up. Like, he dotted me up. He's finding the dots. I can't even get mad at it. And look at me. I moved Calvin back to try to get a big hit, and he just swerved right inside of him. Like, I, I can't believe it. But as you see right here, this is where it's hard. And Bunch, try to score at the goal line, because the play's like, you need field. Like, you need field and bunch to get chunks of yards. So, trying to move from, like, the 17 to the 1 or to the end zone in general, it's pretty hard. As you can see right here, look, look you need you need field. You need field to do all these plays. And he doesn't have no field, so we're just going to keep on taking advantage of that. I think he runs it and gets the first down. So, he's like, all right, I'm going to run it again. 
We hit him this time. Calvin Johnson blows him up. I honestly wanted to fumble, but we didn't get that. I knew he was going to audible. That's why I didn't come out of something else because he was on the short side of the field. As you can see, he gonna, right here he's going to throw one of those. It's just – just watch EA TV. Just watch EA TV right here because this doesn't make any sense. Like, this doesn't make any sense to me. Takes all day to audible, bro. We know you're doing the two posts. We know you want two posts. So why are you even audible? He puts a hitch on the field like I'm going to follow it. Right there, like, that should have been a pick. Like, come on. Like, come on. But as you see, we got one minute. He gets the field goal. First, he gets the field goal. We got one minute, 51 seconds to try to do something on this field. Come out and run the ball. Didn't go anywhere at all. Waste of another play just because I'm not comfortable passing the ball. That's how you know. If you, if you play me and I come out and run on first down, that's just because I'm not comfortable. Well, comfortable, but right there, I, I knew it. Like, Jalen Ramsey is playing back. He's not in no corner. He's not guarding the corners. He's not doing any of that. So he's playing back right there. You can see right there we tricked him again. He manned up Jalen Ramsey this time, and we got square on the slant to Jalen Ramsey's side because he was manned up. As you can see right here, again, just going to try to run the ball because try to get some more time off the clock so he doesn't have time to score. Taylor Mays just fits the gap, and this Edmonds is so slow. Edmonds is so slow. I don't know why, but, like, he has 99 speed. I guess because he's taller than Saquon. Like, he's just so slow. I don't know why, but Aaron Dickerson seemed fast, but Saquon, he's just, he just seems way faster. Right there, we have the dot on the rollout corner, which still needs to be fixed by EA. Not just because I'm getting them. That still needs to be fixed. That shouldn't work like that. Like, you roll out if you have an ability to catch. Literally. Right there, we get the good block by Okoye. He moves him backward. We get into the touchdown, and we are up 14-10. He's back in bunch. I know he wants to throw something stupid. Like, I know he wants to throw something stupid. So, all I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping for a pick, honestly. Like, if we get a pick and we score, we go up 21-10, we win this game. Like, it's already been a struggle for him to move the ball. So, if I can get a pick, we're going to easily win this game. You can see right there, he tries to get the glitch play. He doesn't get it off, and he gets sacked. Second and 12, I'm like, all right. He might come out and try to do the double corners. Y'all know when he audibles. So, I'm like, all right, we're going to come out in 146, and we just going to completely, like, we're going to bait him. We're going to try to bait him to where he thinks that we're blitzing, but we're really not. So you can see I have everybody. I even put a spy up. I'm like, all right. He, when he gets up and he moves his dude in, so he literally had two options. Right there, roll out corner, it wasn't working because he ain't have no other routes on the field. Roll out corner did not work. And we have 32 seconds to get into his end zone. You can see right here, I'm just putting the basic... We're going to block the rest of the dudes and try to get square on the crosser. If not, circle over top of the cover two because I know he's in cover two. Because he doesn't switch it up. So if he doesn't switch it up, why should I switch up my play? Right there, we have circle. I should have passed it, but I didn't feel it. Like, I didn't think we had enough space to the, end, to the end zone. To the left side of the end side, I think we had enough space. I probably could have fit it in, but it would have been like a tight, tight window for us to catch the ball. Just because of the ability. But we just take the easy run. Right here, I'm like, all right, we're literally going to try to throw this corner. Because I know he's putting the outside corner, and he's not making, like, he's not doing anything else. He's just putting outside corners on his safety, well, his corners. And right here, he does the outside corner again, so he doesn't play. He doesn't play deep. Like, he doesn't play anything that crosses his face. I don't know why this game made it to do that, but they don't play anything that crosses their face. I don't know why. But... He's back in gun bust with 13 seconds left. I know he he's just going to try to chunk it up. He's going to try to chunk it up. I don't know why I'm in this cover again. I honestly don't know why. I don't know why. But you see, he's taking forever to call his play again. Like, he just has the like he just has the best dog in the world cooked up. Like, come on, bro. You tried to do a glitch play and you got sacked. You tried to do a glitch play and you got sacked. Took it into the half after that. He he made a bit. He made a smart decision because he probably could have fumbled. Made a good decision and took it into half. We got the ball back, so it's 21-10, and I have a feeling. It's like always situations like this. Like, if you can put get put one more score on the board, you know this dude cannot catch you. Like, I knew if I put one more score, there's just no way he catches me. Like, he's moving the ball so slow right now. 
There's no way he catches me. We get the out route with Torrey Holt. We had to play. We had to do something different. Like we had, he knows all my plays. I played him before, so he knows. He knows what I want. He knows what I want. So I'm not trying to like throw the same things as you can see right here. I'm switching up Torrey Holt. I put him on the flat because I knew he was gonna think I was throwing the drag route. But as you can see, we're still just moving down the field, not wasting, not wasting too much time, but. Not, not not wasting as much time as I would like, but we're still getting positive yards right there. He's in the outside corner again. I don't know what's hit, what's up with him in outside corners. Like, I don't know who told him that was a good idea and outside corners just worked magic, but they don't. Like, please put him, if he's in like a cover three, like a actual deep third, he would probably cover that route way better. You can see right there, we just, Easily passes the square. I could have racked it, but I honestly got scared because Calvin Johnson was right behind me. But he does take, he took the sharp angle. I don't know why. Like, it was a slant. He took the sharp angle at me, and he was out of position. Right here. Going to try to score one more time. Got the out, got the hits, and we got a circle. I'm like, all right, we just going to run it. Everything's covered. Terrible route combo by me. I should have had a drag or something. Right here, I'm gonna do something. I learned. I learned this from um joke from joke stream. I was in there. I was like, wait, that play works like that? It is. It's so stupid. Like it's literally so stupid. The play literally works like that every single time. But as you see right here, it is 28 to 10, and he does quit right after this. I couldn't get it in the gameplay. I don't know why, but he did quit. And as you see right here. This is the top 100. A lot of 25 and those. Clown Dave did not even play his game. Versace played him for him. So if he tried to make it seem like he did he did this and that, he didn't. He ain't even played the game. Versace didn't. He trying to flex with him. But as you can see, we did win 24 game. This is the rest of the top 100. And I was thinking about it. I'm going to show you all the monthly. I am second for this month. If you think about top 100 weekend league players monthly, like the best top 100 players in weekend league, I'm top two. The only person that's like really close to me in weekend league game. Everything else like head to head, none of that. I'm not talking about that. Weekend league strictly, Poison is the only person that's actually been behind me. And behind me and in front of me. But if you know general content, don't forget to take the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. It's your boy Chris Plays. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.